So I recently got the chance to play with a 2012 iMac. This particular version is the 27 inch 2012 Core i5, I believe. Let's have a look. There we go, 2.9 gigahertz i5, which is a quad core unit. Um, the reason I, I was particularly interested in this one was because of the fusion drive. I, in all my machines, I've always used SSDs, but in my laptop and my 2011 iMac, for example, I have an SSD and a separate physical drive. So the idea of the fusion drive, which is kind of a combination of a, a physical spinning drive and an SSD appearing as a single volume, I found it quite appealing. I just wanted to have a look and see what the performance is like. So let's have a look at the specifications of the machine. If we look under the serial ATA, you'll see that it's showing up as two hard drives connected. We have our, our physical um, drive, which is that one, showing up as one terabyte in total. It's got the recovery hard disk on, a few others. Um, if we look at the SSD that's showing up, for example, you'll see that it supports trim and then it's a solid state. Now, if I pop into disk utility, you'll see that it is actually showing up as one volume. So it is a, a fusion drive. So let's have a look at the kind of disk performance that we get from it. I've got the disk speed test from Blackmagic in here. Let's fire that up. We'll make sure we've got the right drive selected. I think there's only one drive in this machine, actually. Yeah, there is. So we'll pop that. Uh, we'll go for, say, a 2 gig test file, and we'll let that run. They are SSD type figures. Um, they wouldn't be like anything like that if they were a normal spinning drive. So um, it's a bit hard to test to see how well the um, the fusion drive rearrangement of information works because it's not just two drives being made contiguous. It, it, there's some intelligence that goes on on top of that to actually make sure that the most common access data is on the faster uh, partition. But let's have a look at the general performance anyway. So this is a freshly booted machine. Bear in mind I'm currently recording the screen using QuickTime to the same drive. That does tend to have an effect, um, certainly when you're recording high def video. So let's fire up some apps. There we go, there's Word, there's Excel. That's certainly snappy enough. Obviously, when you fire them up the second time, they should be in faster. So it's, it's totally workable. Um, does it feel as fast as my 2011 MacBook with a SATA 3 SSD in it? No, it doesn't. Um, but then again, you know, mine's got a, my MacBook has a SATA 3 SSD and is a Core i7 processor as well. Although, to be fair, a previous generation to this one. Um, let's have a look at the virtualization performance as well. So let's just fire up VMware there got a couple of Windows 7 machines set up so let's fire up the um, x64 one so if I was going to replace my machine my iMac it certainly would be for virtualization purposes um, in which case the fusion drive is actually very interesting to me because it gives me one really big volume with uh, a decent performance section as well That's up and ready. So let's log in as our DA user on this machine. And there we go. So maybe let's have a look at the uh, performance index. I don't think I've actually run it for this virtual machine, so maybe it's uh, worth rerunning. There we go. It's got uh, three gig allocated to it. It's a 64 bit OS. There you go, you can see the four processors, four cores anyway. Um, so let's rerun the Windows Experience Index. So there we go, it's finished. Um, 
The disk transfer rate is particularly impressive. Uh, the lowest one there is a the 3D graphics, which is not surprising because we're virtualized. Um, let's have a look at some of the performance. Let's fire up something like Excel. There we go. Oh, let's get rid of the activation. Save the word. So as you can see, it's very usable, even in um, modes like Unity, for example. Let's change it into that. And there we go. All in all, it's a very impressive machine. I'm, I'm certainly quite impressed with the way the uh, Fusion Drive works anyway, although uh, proof in that is probably more in the length of time that you use it and whether it starts to slow down um, and whether it can actually keep track of the way that you use your data. But um, would I upgrade my 2011 machine? Not yet, I don't think. I don't think there's a big enough technology jump for my late 2011 iMac um, and the way I've configured it and these 2012 units um you know don't get me wrong the 2012 is a beautiful unit i mean it, it looks spectacular but uh from an aesthetics point of view it's a bit thinner um has usb3 of course which is a bit quicker of course um yeah there's not enough in it to make me upgrade at this point